Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Today I will be sharing with you what I call my best friend. Hallelujah. Please, for those that have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly do so, share the video, like the video, and keep possessing your possessions. For those that have subscribed, I appreciate you. God bless you. Please uh, keep possessing your possessions even in this season. God bless you. Hallelujah. My best friend, Lord Jesus, let this message be released through me right now as coordinated by the Holy Ghost. And let it be a blessing unto your people. In Jesus' name. Amen. My best friend. Who is your best friend? Who are your friends? The scripture says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Greater love has no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. Who is your own best friend? Can your friend lay down his life for you? Can you lay down your life for your friend? You see, the tag, that name, best friend, be careful with it. Be careful. That that are good friends, of course. But be fr be careful who you call your friend, especially who you call your best friend. You see, Judas was with, was with Jesus along with other disciples. They eat together, they drink together, even listen to the gospel of Jesus. But his heart was far away from Jesus. He betrayed him. The scripture says he gave a sign to them that, that whosoever he kissed among them, they should hold him. And he went to kiss Jesus so that they can can take Jesus. That is somebody that eats with him, drink with him. Jesus said, He that eats bread with me has lift up his heel against me. You see, who is your own best friend? Do you know what they do at your back? Do you know what that your best friend say about you at your back? Who do you share your secret with? Praise Jesus. The scripture says, Jeremiah 17 verse 5 says, Cause be the man that put his trust in a man, that made flesh his hand. You see, it means that we should all put our trust in the Lord. You as, you as well can also disappoint your friends. That is why we don't put our trust in flesh, but in him. Praise Jesus. Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that labor and every landed, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you will find rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy and my body is light. That is the best friend anyone can ever have. The name of Jesus. You see, there are good friends in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 19. When Saul wanted to kill David and Saul told his son Jonathan about it. And Jonathan went ahead and told David. That his father wants to kill him so that David can escape. That's a good friend. Also, in the book of Mark, chapter 2, when Jesus was in a room teaching, and these men, they have a friend that was paralyzed. They brought him over there, but they couldn't get into the room because everywhere was packed up, was filled up. But they did not turn back because of that. What did they do? They broke down the roof and threw the man. To the room so that Jesus can see him. And when Jesus saw that, he was marveled. Those friends, they did not give up on him. 
They did not say, oh, there's no way to take you in. Everywhere, everywhere is feed up. Let's go and some other time we'll come back and see, maybe we'll see him again. No, they were so desperate to see that their friend get healed. Those are good friends. You see, the name best friend, be careful. Because the moment you are chanting my best friend, my best friend, unconsciously, you not allow that your friend to take the position of Jesus in your heart. Some people, if they don't see their best friend, they will not even be able to function well or to get some certain things done. Because they have given their key, the key of their heart, their soul, to their so-called friend. And when that friend now betray you or do something against you, you see many people, some will even be going through emotional trouble. Some people will break down for a while because they are putting, they put their trust in a flesh like them. And the Bible says, cause be that man that put his trust in a man. The only best friend you can ever have is Jesus. Praise Jesus. You see, let me give you three different kind of friends. The first category. These are friends that when things are down for you in your low moment, they will be there with you. They even try all kind of things to help you. But the moment things get start getting better for you, suddenly they will become your friend, your enemy. Immediately they will become your enemy. Why? Because they don't want to see you doing well. They don't want to see you fulfill your purpose. They are happy to see that you are down, that they are the one helping you all through. Be wise. The second category are friends that when you are down, you don't see them. But the moment things start getting better for you, you see them coming to you in numbers. They say poverty have no friends, but wealth have many friends. The third category are people that when things are down for you, they will be there with you. When things get better for you, they will also be there because they are happy to see that you are doing well. You can only find such friends in your parents and your pastors. And in few friends, you see, among these three categories of friends, which one is more dangerous? The first one. The most wicked enemy you can ever have is the enemy that, does want, that doesn't want you to fulfill your purpose, that does not want you to prosper in life. You have to be wise not to fall for the devices of the wicked. Who is your friend? Do you know your friend well? You see, Jesus was not disappointed by any of those. What even what Judas did, Jesus was not disappointed. Because he did not commit himself unto any man. But no, none of them appointed him. It was the Father that appointed him. So none of them could disappoint him. That is what is expected of us. The scripture says in John chapter 2 verse 24 to 25, Jesus did not commit himself unto them, for he knew all men. Verse 25, he needed no one to testify of man unto him, for he knew what was in a man. You see, that is what is expected of us as well. To be like Jesus, live like Jesus, be wise like Jesus. The scripture says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finishers of our faith. You see, God himself did not commit himself to man. And first, first, John, uh, first John chapter 4 verse 17 says, Here he is our love made perfect that we might be able to stand in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. As Jesus is, so are we. Therefore, we have to be like him, live like him, be wise like him. 
Jeremiah uh, 17 verse 9, it says, The art is deceitful above all things. It's desperately wicked. Who can know it? The art of man. Those that you call your best friends, that you share your secret with, the moment you are no longer in good terms, the same secret that you have shared with them, they will, they will now begin to use that against you. Even to share with your enemy. You see, Jesus is only friend that will always have your back. Praise Jesus. You see, the woman that was caught up in, in, in adultery that they brought to Jesus, they wanted to stone her. And Jesus said, any among you that is without sin, let him be the first to cast the stone. And they all left, one after the other. And by, Jesus, by the time Jesus, Jesus would talk to the woman, he said, where are your accusers? They did not condemn you, neither did I condemn you. Go and sin no more. That is Jesus. That is the best friend anyone can ever have. Praise Jesus. Be careful who you call your friends. Be careful who you tag with that name, my best friend. Can your best friend die for you to live? Can you yourself die for your best friend to live? That is why everyone must put their trust in Jesus. Of course, they are good friends. But be careful who you call your best friend. Let me quickly take you to the book of Psalm 55. What David says about a friend that betrayed him. Psalm 55. I will read from verse 12. It says, For it was not an enemy that reproached me. Then I could have burnt it. Neither was he that hated me, that did magnify himself against me. Then I would have hid myself from him. Verse 13. But it was thou, a man, my equal, my God, my and my acquaintance. You see, listen to verse 14 now. We took sweet counsel together. And walk into the house of God in company. Can you imagine that? Those, a man that he, he, they, they are together, close, they even go to the house of God together. Stabbed him at the back. Betrayed him. Who are your best friend? Then in verse 15, he prayed a dangerous prayer over such people. Read it for yourself, Psalm 55. Read from verse 12 to 15. Then you see that dangerous prayer. He prayed over such friends. Be careful who you call your friends. Jesus is the only faithful, ever faithful best friend that, that anyone can ever have. It's good you have friends. But do you know your friend? Praise Jesus. Be wise. Be wise. When things are tough, when things are going not the way you expect, call unto him. Cry unto him. Some people, even when they want to take some important, vital decisions, they want to do some things, they will not even bother to pray about it. They go straight to their best friend. And whatsoever their best friend tells them to do, they do. So, their best friend have taken the place of Jesus. They do not even bother to pray to hear what the Spirit of God will tell them to do. That is why you have to be careful about who you call your best friend. Jesus is always there. He's always faithful. He never sleeps, nor slumber. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence come my help. 
My help coming from the Lord that made heaven and heart. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth me will not slumber. He that keepeth his flesh shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is the shade upon my right hand. The sun shall not sleep by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve my soul. The Lord shall preserve my going out and my coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. That is Jesus. Hallelujah. When things are tough, when it seems as if nothing is working, call upon him. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry. Everything to God in prayer. You call upon him. Our best friend. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Even when we are not faithful. He is always faithful. He's always faithful. He's ever faithful God. Great is thy faithfulness. The wise. Who, who you call your friend. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. I hope this message will bless you and will refresh you to be wise so that you don't fall for the devices of the wicked. You have to be wise. You have to be wise so that you don't let people take advantage of you. And I pray over you right now. Every unfriendly friend around you Every enemy that are disguising to be your friends, let the Lord expose them and disgrace them in the name of Jesus. Any of your secret that they have, that they want to use against you, let the Lord frustrate their evil effort against you in the name of Jesus. I pray that you not fall for the devices of the wicked in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Please continue in, in prayer mode. In this season, continue to pray all through in this season. Colossians chapter 4, chapter 4 verse 2 says, Continue in prayer with thanksgiving. Continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. Don't cease to pray. Prayer is the key. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Please, for those that have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly do so. Share the video, like the video, and your comments are also welcome. And begin to possess your possessions, even in this season, in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you all. I will see you soon in my next video, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah.